Jumpstarting a Pinball Machine Motherboard Most commonly Jersey Jack Jumpstarting your pinball machine is needed when you go to turn on your pinball machine and it does not turn on. You've confirmed that the machine actually has power, but it's still not firing up. This can be diagnosed by opening up the back box and seeing that lights are illuminated on the fuse board. However, the rest of the game isn't powering up. The reason for this is the motherboard battery has died. The motherboard has lost its internal memory and does not remember its startup instructions. This tutorial shows you how we replace that battery, jumpstart the motherboard, and get the game up and running again. Jumpstarting the motherboard is equivalent to pushing the reset button on your desktop computer. However, your pinball machine doesn't have a reset button, so we trick the motherboard into thinking the reset button has been pushed. This procedure takes a delicate touch. Proceed at your own risk, and only if you feel comfortable working on the machine yourself. There are high voltage electronics inside your pinball machine, and you must be very careful not to hurt yourself or the machine while working on the electronics, especially when the power is turned on. If you're uncertain, please consult a professional. This video is a simple illustration of how we do it. Do not touch any high voltage electronics or short any components accidentally. We take no responsibility for damage you cause to yourself or your game. Here's what you're going to need. You need a USB keyboard. You're also going to need a Phillips head screwdriver and then you can choose between either a bent paper clip or a small flathead screwdriver used to short out the motherboard. Here we're showing you for size comparison. We actually prefer the screwdriver method, but we'll illustrate both. You're also going to need some coin batteries, 2032s. Open up the coin door and you'll see your back box keys, which should be hanging on this clip inside. Grab those and let's open up the back box. In this video, I'm trying to do this one-handed while filming with my other hand, so make sure you use two hands to open up this glass. It is expensive, delicate, and sometimes impossible to replace. Slide this down and you'll get into the back box. Now we're in and you can see the LCD monitor right in front of us. This is held in with magnets that you can pull off on both sides. Once you get that off, Pull out the articulating arm that holds the monitor and stretch that out as far as it'll go. Ah, here are the lights on the fuse board that you can see are on, but the rest of the game is not turning on. There's your indication. Take out these four screws to get back to the motherboard. Once those are out, gently remove this aluminum panel, and I like to support it on the arm as it's sticking out, but be careful of this little wire in the back that holds onto the LED light strip. Now we can get a good look at the motherboard with a big fan on it. You'll see the coin battery there. You'll also see the terminals where we're going to short out the motherboard to get it to jump start. The alternative method is to short this portion out with a paper clip. We'll show you both. That battery needs to come out first and let's get that taken care of. What you're going to do is use your fingernail to pop that out by pushing on this little clip on the right side. I'll show you that one more time. Make sure that battery is retrieved and throw it away. Now let's put a new battery in. Perfect. Now try and find this large wire harness on your motherboard. This is used in one of the two methods of jump starting. You only need to choose one we prefer the screwdriver method, but this is the method where you would use a paper clip. Noticing that bump on the top of the harness, that gives you orientation as to which way the harness is facing and which direction to count from. Using that as the top, counting from the right side, count over to spot four and five. This is where you would insert a paper clip into spot four and five to short out this harness to jumpstart the game. Number four is often green in a harness that had colored wires. Taking a look at these little pins, this is what we prefer to use when we jump start the game. You touch your screwdriver to just these two and that'll get the game jumped. Grab your flathead screwdriver, but be very careful not to touch anything else. In this particular video, I'm holding a cell phone in my right hand and trying to do this with my non-dominant left hand. So it's a little wobbly. 
you should probably use two hands to stabilize the screwdriver and being very careful not to touch anything else. Once you touch it, you'll notice that fan kick right on and the game's jumped. The rest of the lights should come on in the game and the game is up and running. Take a look around and you notice the game come to life. However, sometimes the game shows this message on the display. Now, this is where you need your keyboard. Get into the coin box and plug your keyboard into that USB outlet right there. Sometimes there's a USB dongle like this stuck in that that you need to pull out to get your keyboard in there. So just take that out and plug in your keyboard. Now all we got to do is press the F1 key and our game should come to life. Hit the F1 key and stand by. That looks more like it. Go ahead and let the game power all the way up. Let the game come all the way to a full up and running situation. Once that's established, go ahead and unplug your keyboard and we'll get ready to put the game back together. Now that the game is up and running and has a battery in it, you can turn the power off, which is what I've done here. Put back this cover, snap it back into place, and then you're going to need to find your four screws you took out when that came off. Snap that monitor back into place on those magnets and make sure it's nicely aligned all the way around. Fire the game back up once you get your back glass back on and looks like you've done it. The sweet sound of success. Thanks for watching and we hope you enjoyed Operation Pinball's motherboard jumpstart video. Please be careful, don't hurt yourself and don't hurt your game. Thanks for joining.